the Bible says there is power in the tongue? There is. And prayer is like a, a, a straight portal straight to God. Like literally, it's a straight, it's straight. It's just straight portal to God. And when you pray, you're literally sending signals to the maker that Lord, have your way. What is absolutely popping my lollipops? You already know it's your girl Lola Wall and I'm back with another video. I have been messaged by you guys on how to pray, how to pray. Um, so a lot of it is really thanking God. You want to start your prayer life with thanking God, appreciating God. If you have to make a list of things that you want to thank God for, starting with breath of life, because you wouldn't be able to thank God without breath. You wouldn't able be, you would not be able to go to work without breath. You will not be able to eat without breath or drink without breath. Read your Bible without breath. Without breath, you cannot do any of that. And we want to remember and acknowledge the fact that in Genesis chapter two, verse seven, the Lord breathed his breath into our lungs he made us living beings from his breath so it's his breath that we are using to even talk right now okay so you want to first thank god for breath of life and that's what you want to do breath of life and you want to just start by acknowledging all the things you want to thank god for food on your table water uh, a roof over your head uh clothes on your back um uh, even financial financial stability even if you're not even financially stable call that into existence lord thank you for financial stability lord i thank you so much that i even have a job as well even if you don't have a job thank him for what you don't have thank him for the new car that you don't yet have okay thank him for the car you do have but thank him for the car you don't have thank him for the food you do have but thank him for the food you don't have does this make sense? So the things that you are hoping for, thank him for that as well. Thank him for the children. I don't have any children, but I thank him for my children. The children I don't have yet, but I'm claiming it because it's mine. Thank him for the husband or wife, whether you have them or not, thank him for that. Thank him for the ability to be able to drive this same car, this same road. People get in car accidents on, okay? thank him for journey mercy like lord you have mercy on me i got on a plane i was able to get back to my destination safely i was able to get to my destination safely thank you holy spirit so many people ride on planes and the plane crashes holy spirit so many people ride in cars and the car crash there are deaths in car crashes there are our limb uh, losses and car accidents but lord you continually keep me you continually shield me thank him for the home that you live in so many people get robbed in their own home in their own home a robber comes and robs their home thank him that there is protection round about your home thank him that no evil has even met you at your home or at your place of work. So many people go to work, the same job, like the type of work I, I do, I work with children at a school. So many people ha go through school shootings. I thank God that that has never been my situation. That has never been my story. Does this make sense? So you thank him, go, go list by list and just thank him. This is all just thanking him. Then you wanna acknowledge him. Lord, I acknowledge you in all my ways. As I'm about to eat, Lord, eat with me. As I'm about to drive this car, Lord, drive with me. As I'm about to jump in the shower, Lord, jump in the shower with me. Lord, as I'm about to brush my teeth, Lord, brush my teeth with me. Lord, thank you so much for allowing me to sleep throughout the night. So many people can't even sleep. They struggle to sleep. They have to take medication to sleep. I have peace of mind. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is back to even thanking him because there, there's no ending when it comes to thanking him. And something I love, there's this one scripture that goes, how God gave a healing to, I believe it was 10 people and only one of the 10 came and said, thank you. And the Lord said, where is the nine? I thought it was 10 that I healed, where is the nine? Only one of them came to say, thank you. That's how great it is to be thankful. And this, this individual that came back and said, thank you, was able to keep that healing and make that healing permanent over their life. So we need to really be thankful. We need to be grateful people, not just go to God for asking, 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 Lord, I need this new car, give it to me. Why don't you thank him for the new car that you have? Yes, you already have it, it's yours. Think of it like that. Think in the aspect of, oh, I already have it, let me thank God. Let me thank God. Does this make sense? So thanking him. And then it comes to the point where warfare then begins to be a prayer. So for me, where I come to, where it comes to my warfare, if you go on my YouTube channel, I have a prayer, 
uh, I have a war a playlist, a prayer playlist, a warfare deliverance prayer, warfare playlist whatever it's with uh pastor dk olukoya he is the person that i go to for prayers at least warfare prayers i go to him so if you're not on uh, if you're unable to hear his prayers i don't know what else to tell you I, he's literally the only person i go to so other than the fact that i write every single one of his prayers down and, and at least the videos that i do watch i write it down and i go back and i pray them sometimes i'll make it even a video for you guys to pray along with me so you guys can also follow my prayers which i post here as shorts or you can go to the deliverance prayer playlist that i have created with dk olukoya's prayers this is where i get my prayer points from okay and i just bring them to you guys on shorts um and i write them down so if you're able to understand him that's a that's a plus that's great go ahead and use those if you cannot understand him I really don't know how to help other than watch my my shorts and write those prayers down, okay? Um, and I pray warfare prayers as often as I remember, okay? So if I'm not able to do the midnight one, maybe I'm not feeling good and I wasn't able to do the midnight one, it's really okay. On my way to work, I'll do it. Or whenever I get the chance or whenever I remember, I'll do it. And another time is um, that's good with praying is fasting so i'll talk about that in a whole nother video fasting but prayer you start with thanking god and list it, it the prayer is not short these are not short prayers especially when you are truly in it it cannot be short because you're thanking god for every little thing every little thing that comes your way every little thing so say you're struggling or you're noticing stagnation in your life like ah everything has been the same for the past two years now like nothing has changed i'm, I'm, I'm still in this same cycle that's when you want to pray warfare prayers against stagnation every spirit of stagnation against my life i command you destroyed in the name of jesus i will move forward anything any roadblock in my way stopping me from moving forward i demand you destroyed now in the name of jesus and you need to this is why i like olukoya's prayers is he gets me used to knowing what to say in prayer when it comes to warfare so you need it like say for example like for me i had a dream about my friend uh being shot in the left arm this is a moment for me to intercede on the behalf of this friend and i pray every evil arrow shot against his moving forward shot against his progress i command that power to be destroyed because if you look up the meaning of that dream it's coming against his progress his moving forward his success his um celebration things like that so that's when you need to then join warfare prayer into it and intercede on those so the lord gives me interceding prayers because he already knows me i like prayer i love the act of prayer i love the act of tongues i love everything about prayer it's really 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 beautiful um so i like to soak myself a lot in prayer so god gives me dreams about other people and then i know okay i gotta pray for this person because first of all it's not gonna sit right with me if i don't um so i i pray for them because a lot of us in the body of christ we don't you we don't take prayer seriously and that's why i need to go watch my my most recent video about taking your prayer seriously taking your prayer life seriously and um learning how to pray practicing prayer and don't think that we can babysit these demons that's another thing i had a discussion with one of you guys how we should not babysit these demons y'all feel like oh but um god is a loving god and um he's not a man uh that you know cast evil on people He's not casting on people. It's, it's on the evil spirits. If you go read Psalm, if you read the book of Psalm, you will see David literally says it like, and even in the book of Esther, where it came to Mordecai and Haman, Haman was wishing evil for Mordecai and them. And Esther and them prayed and fasted. And God made the evil that Haman was wishing on Mordecai to go on his head times 10. Like he died the same way he planned for Mordecai to die. That's the exact same way he died. So you can pray that back to sender. <laughs> You're wishing that on me, huh? back to sender. <laughs> so don't be, don't hesitate to pray. Prayer is so powerful because it comes to pass. That's the crazy part about it. Y'all know how the Bible says there's power in the tongue? There is. And prayer is like a, a, a straight portal straight to god like literally it's a straight it's straight it's just straight portal to god and when you pray you're literally sending signals to the maker that lord 
have your way <laughs> and you're just telling him what you need done in your life okay so i definitely beckon on you to all pray learn to pray learn to fast and i'll make a fasting video as well god bless you all as you obey i pray for you that the holy spirit will help us in our prayer life that he will teach us how to pray himself God, you are the ultimate teacher. Holy Spirit, you are the only one that can really teach us and it will stick. So Lord, teach us how to pray, oh God. Teach us how to fast, oh God. Teach us how to do the things of the kingdom right in the right way in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us to live righteously. Help us to live wholeheartedly. Help us to live in a way that is pure, that is pleasing in your sight. In the mighty name of Jesus, build us spiritually. Build our prayer lives, oh God. Help us, oh God, to be pleasing in your sight. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Prince of Peace. Thank you, Lord of Lord. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' glorious mighty name, pray. Amen and amen. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe today. We are Lollipops for Christ over here. We have a weak spot for the Lord Jesus Christ over here. Suckers for Christ over here. Uh, God bless you all as you obey. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.